go. So the Rockets win the tip. Here's the starting group for Houston. They've got Elijah on. Maxwell is out there with Smith. Then it's Thorpe, and it's Ori in at the small forward. Now, here is Elijah Wan. And that's collected by Longley. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. And Jordan swings it home. And the high flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. One of the best dunkers this game has ever seen. Smith outside. That three off the mark. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist from Ron Harper. You know, Jordan is an accomplished scorer inside. I mean, it feels like he can get whatever shot he wants on the block. Smith, the pass to Thorpe. Here's Maxwell. With some arc, it's deflected. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Maxwell. And as a free throw shooter, Robin has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. Dennis Rodman. Two shots. That one misses. Thorpe on the glass grabs the board. A slow start here for Houston in this one. It's a five-point game. Or the Rockets with another miss. It's been a quick start here for Chicago. Harper kicks to Rodman. Ori against Pippen. It's Jordan on the wing. And again, no good by Chicago. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. The pass to Thorpe. Harper against Maxwell. Elijah good. Well, I tell you what, you can't let Elijah Wan get this kind of positioning. I mean, he is a master at knowing how to score close inside. Now here's Pippen. Sinks the triple. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Smith against Harper. Smith the pass to Thorpe. Ori kicks to Smith. Passes it to Elijah Wan. And here's Maxwell for three. Connects from three-point range. Maxwell. The real come at us. And we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And a wide open look for Jordan. Another three for Chicago. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for Houston. They trail by six. Pass to Ori. Here is Elijah Wong. Covered by Long. Banked in off the glass. Elijah has got his second basket of the night. Just a great hustle play there. Energy and passion. This is what you play the game for. Jordan, the pass to Rodman. Harper against Smith. No oh, good with the triple. Rockets trail by four. To the paint. Here's Elijah on. And it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. Here's Jordan. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, man! Hey, when Jordan is cutting to the cup, he's locked in on throwing it down. The D doesn't have a chance at denying him that chance. And they're bringing you up close and personal in the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And you're Simpkins, he's checked in for Long. Who coach comes in for Scotty Pippen, and Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Chicago on defense. 
Six point lead. Shorts off the contact and dunks it. He'll go to the free throw line. That's the finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, she is the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Now here's Jordan. Nine points in the game so far, and the shot goes in. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Hey, yo, right here. Brooks against Jordan. Here's Ellie. And it's off the back rim. No good. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now, here's Jordan. He's got 11. The dish now to Kirk. And Steve Kerr, true from outside. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Here's Ellie. No good on that one. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Pass to Kukos. Three-pointer. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Here's Ellie. The shot's good. Cassell Mario making the play. Ellie. Ellie's got five now. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Here's Jordan. The pass to Simpkins. Over to the left wing. Shot clock at six. A second chance effort. Jordan with the bucket. He's got 13. And it just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Gazelle, the pass to Bullard. Here's Ellie. Houston needs to get a shot. Bullard. From outside, off the mark. Chicago leading by eight. Rodman kicks to Jordan. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. And so it's Chicago going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Looking at what we've seen for the Bulls, what do you guys think? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Dennis Rodman is out there with Longley. Then it's Jordan. Then it's Kerr, and it's Pippen in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And here are the Rockets now. It's a 13-point game. Elijah one inside, Longley on him, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal team. Elijah a transcendent talent, late to the game, but my oh my, what a beast of a big man. He's certainly a guy you can build a team on. Akeem at the line, a 71% free throw shooter in his career. He's perfect from the line this time. The Bulls leading by 11. Jordan dishes to Pippen. It's Jordan on the win. He's guarded by Maxwell. And slam dunk by Jordan. He is certainly a dominant player. Michael Jordan, when he's in the zone, unstoppable. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Smith outside. 
Pass to Orton. Wants to get it to Elijah Wan and does. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Makes it off the glass. Elijah Wan's got four points in the quarter. Such a graceful player. Uh, Hakeem is, is light off the ground there for that rebound. And then the skill to send that one home. The shot's good from Jordan. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Another three for Chicago. That's number two for him from long range in the quarter. His third overall. Pass to Elijah Wan. Over Longley. And Elijah Wan with the basket on the assist from Kenny Smith. Elijah Wan's got ten points in the game. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Changes for Chicago. Wennington, he's checked in for Long. And it's Harper in for Michael Jordan. The Bulls leading by 14. Kerr, the pass to Pippen. Sinks the three-pointer. Six points for him. Oh, that's two bombs in a row from Long Range. Kerr against Smith. Pass to Thorpe. Here's Maxwell. Here's Elijah on. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's got four rebounds now tonight. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Pippen. Outside Rodman. He dishes it to Kerr. The pass to Pippen. Rocket six. Drives to the hoop. That one goes. Count it. Pippen's got five points in the quarter. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Smith, the pass to Elijah Wan. Fader on the way. Rebound by the Bulls. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me... They've gone after this win a little bit more. Now here's Pippen following the miss by Hakeem. Pippen, and oh, what a play. He just palms the block. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. And the thing about Thor, I mean, as strong as he is, he's extremely agile. I mean, he really gets up and down the floor. Beautiful. The first one falls. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for Chicago. The Rockets also changing it up. Ellie comes in for Ori. And it's Cassell in for Smith. And so Thorpe nails both of them. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys. And it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. they got to tighten it up. Let's it go with a three. It doesn't go for him. The Rockets go the other way with it. Elijah Wan with the block. Elijah Wan is a ferocious defender and rim protector. Really excels at slapping shots away. Passes it to Ellie. Here's Maxwell. Thorpe with a screen on Jordan. Here's Cassell. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Cassell's got his first bucket of the night. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. The drive by Jordan. Elijah Wan with the block. And here we go. Here's Cassell. A three-pointer, no good. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. And we'll see if that's the answer. Now, here's Kerr. Here's Jordan. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And it's 29 points for Michael Jordan. The assist. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back trying to carry them to the W. 
pass to Thorpe. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Elijah on. Chicago grabs the miss. Rodman's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Jordan, and then slammed in by Jordan. Always looking to drive in attack mode constantly. When the D gives him a lane, he tears him up. Here's Cassell. Pass to Thorpe. And here's Maxwell from beyond the arc. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Kerr for three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got three assists in the game. And they get it. Cassell gets the bucket. Cassell's got his second basket of the night. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Outstanding finishing there by Jordan. Terrific at getting inside and powering the flush now. And so it's Chicago finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back right after this. from Michael Jordan. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Rockets. Ori is out there with Thornton. Then it's Elijah Wan. Then there's Maxwell. And it's Smith in at the point. Here's Smith after Dennis Rodman's bucket there. Smith the pass to Thorpe. Here's Maxwell. The pass to Elijah Wan. Maxwell against Jordan. For three, Smith. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Rodman's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Jordan. Jordan double crutches in mid clutch And have you seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. Houston moving it around. And here's Maxwell for three. Rebounded by Rodman. Rodman's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And it's Jordan with the jam. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Here's Thorpe, and here's Maxwell for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Maxwell's got six. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Harper, no good. Maxwell, the pass to Elijah Wan. Nice pass. Oh, Let him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And really scored most of their points, but he can't score them all, guys. He's going to have to get somebody else to step up. Back to Pippen. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Nailed from three-point land. Scotty Pippen, a dependable shooter from here now. Like how he gets his feet set first. That's fundamental, but he's central. Thorpe with a screen on Harper. And it's Smith missing. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. The drive by Jordan. Elijah Wan grabs the miss. Here's Ori. Rodman with the rebound. 
Rodman's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Drills it from outside. Jordan. Jordan's got Three seven points, points for the court. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. Pass to Elijah Wan. Baseline jumper. The Rockets again can't hit. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Don't let Jordan shoot that. Thorpe against Pippen. Back to Jordan. And it's Jordan slamming it down. And Scottie Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Pass to Elijah Wan. A fadeaway. Misses off the left eye. Here's Chicago. They're on a 14-5 run here. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Pippen's got assist number five here tonight. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's Ori. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Lost to Elijah Wan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The Rockets have been good at the line so far. Five of five. First team foul. And that one falls for Elijah Wan. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. Houston with a big group substitution here. Bullard, he's checked in for Thorpe. Ellie comes in for Ori. Brooks checked in for Maxwell. And it's Cassell in for Smith. Right side, Rodman. Feeds it to Pippen. remaining in the third. And the layup is good. Pippen's got five points in the quarter. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Gazelle against Harper. Gazelle the pass to Ellie. Six to shoot. Here's the pass to Brooks. No good from outside. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Kukoc gets the bucket. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Elijah Wan can't hit. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Simpkins passes to Harper. Out to the right wing. Rodman kicks to Harper. Outside, Kukos. Here's Rodman. Oh, good on the triple. Here's Houston now. Passes to Ellie. Here's Cassell. 34 seconds left in the third. Out left to the wing from downtown. Chicago grabs the miss. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Harper kicks to Pippen. Sweet little floater. Pippen's got seven points for the quarter. Hey, it's simple. When Pippen is feeling it, keep getting him the ball. Pass to Elijah Wan. Shoots over Pippen. And so it's Chicago. Sitting on a lead of 40 points at the end of the quarter. Terrific play. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. Back to the action after this word. a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And so Brooks will bring it up for Houston. We've got Kukoc. Pippen is out there with Dennis Rodman. Then there's Longley. 
And it's Harper in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Here's Cassell. The shot, no good. And it's Chicago the other way. Now here's Kukoc. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Kukoc has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Bulls. On offense, here are the Rockets. Brooks outside. To the inside. And the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Only their first turnover of the game, taking terrific care of the basketball. And that's one more key to their lead, guys. I mean, they're creating opportunities for each other and not the other team. So for the Bulls, Jordan comes in for Pippen and Kerr subbed in for Harper. Cassell against Kukoc. Bullet. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. One item that stood out, their ball move. Things are definitely Houston clicking, ball. and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Fans, you're lovable. Bulls making a switch here. Pippen's checked in. Scotty Pippen. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Pippen against Cassell. Takes the three. Chicago grabs the miss. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. And the dunk by Jordan. Yep, he's their leading scorer in this game and has been the dominant figure today. No doubt about it. And so it's Houston with it. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Brooks against Kerr. Four on the shot clock. Rodman against Brooks. Can't hit that one. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Stolen by Pippen. Here's Longley. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Longley's got his first two points of the night. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Bulls. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Here's Ellie after Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. Two on the clock. Here's Cassell and the rejection by Pippen. And they'll turn over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. The drive by Jordan. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. Longley, a screen on Cassell. Here's Jordan. It's Chicago with another bucket. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Kerr's shot is good. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Here's Ellie. Sinks that one from the post. And with that one, it ends an 11-0 run by Chicago. Long lead passes to Jordan. And he makes good on the layup. Jordan's got 50 points. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Here's Ellie over Jordan. Rebound by the Bulls. 
Rodman's got his 20th rebound here tonight. We saw that coming. Jordan, the pass to Rodman. Dishes it to Jordan. Over Cassell. And the Bulls tack on two more. We know Jordan is a master from the mid-range, whether he's squared up or falling away. You feel like it's going to splash. Inside, here's Helly. And foul oh, on the wow. shot, so he'll get a chance Michael at the line. Jordan. That's it's going to be on Michael First Jordan. Foul. First team foul. At the line. The free throw drops for Ellie. Mario. And Ellie is a terrific role Taking player. Two shots. I mean, talkative, fiery, a leader, and producer at both ends of the floor. His passion and personality make a difference on any team. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Simpkins comes in for Rodman. And Bushler subbed in for Jordan. Pippen, the pass to Bushler. From past the arc. And it's Pippen missing. And so Brooks will bring it up for the Rockets. From 13. Rebounded by Wennington. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Kuko just checked in for Chicago. I'm out for the ball. Who wants a t-shirt? All right. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Michael Jordan. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Fourteen left in the fourth quarter. Brooks against Kerr. Pass to Cassell. There's a good screen. Now the pass to Bullard. Gets it to go from Matt beyond Bullard. the arc. It's important that you have big men who can shoot in this day and age, and this guy can really stretch the floor. Here's Jordan. Drops it in from 11 feet. Jordan's got 54 points. There's not a place on the floor where Jordan can't hurt you. Efficient is what he is. Looking to get it going, and it's good on the layup. Sam and giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. And it's Chicago scoring again. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Okay, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Here's Ellie following the basket by Michael Jordan. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Mario that one on Kukoc. the line for two. The free throw drops for Ellie. And both free throws good for Ellie. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Jordan, and he uses the glass on the way. Jordan's got 58. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc is the versatility on offense and the terrific court vision. Yeah, that's a bad move there. Stops the clock and puts the other side on the line. Yeah, inexcusable. I mean, he's got to know not to take any chances there. That's just a terrible foul. Taking two shots. And so Cassell nails both of them. 
And, you know, Sam Cassell is about as reliable as it gets, guys. I mean, he's an excellent scorer who does a nice job running the offense and doesn't shy away from big moments either. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And so Chicago takes this one win by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.